This is the Moto 360 smartwatch uh, running Android Wear and I want to do an update video on the Maps app. Uh, one of the new uh, features with Android Wear uh, spring of 2015 is now you can left swipe and access your apps here, one of which is Maps. Uh, if you hit that you'll come up with a um, GPS uh, pinpoint on a full screen map of where you are. This watch doesn't have a in onboard GPS, this is uh, working through my phone, um, but you can see it is an interactive, uh, fully adjustable map. You can pinch and zoom uh, like I'm doing there, but uh, the zoom uh, buttons are also provided uh, at the top. Um, if you don't touch the screen for about a second or two, uh, the buttons disappear, but if you hit the screen again, they'll reappear. This button over here, the pin icon um, searches for notable sites or at least what Google considers notable um, around the area and if you hit on one uh, it'll come up with information and uh, you can hit that to navigate there. Um, you can drop a pin on this so if I wanted to navigate somewhere over here near the river uh, you can drop a pin uh, and then hit that to get navigational uh, directions. If you get lost in your map and don't know where you were to begin with, uh, you can just hit the locate icon and it takes you back um, to there. Uh, so there's a few differences now with the navigation uh, notification cards or screen. So I'm just going to navigate to some random place here. Um, the navigation will also pull up Head west toward Jefferson Avenue Southeast. Thank you, Google. Pull up on your phone. Uh, now, though, the the uh, watch also still shows the map, um, and this, you know, your icon will actually move too, just like on uh, your phone's uh, Google Maps as well, uh, which is new. Um, and if you left swipe, you'll get a summary of your trip there. Uh, you can change the travel mode, so if you want to change it to, you know, bicycling or walking or whatever. <clears throat> and then, of course, there's the option to exit the navigation. Um, now, uh, the normal uh, notification cards for directions, uh, those are about the same. They've been streamlined, um, but it's still sort of the stylized um, arrow slash road diagram uh, directions card um, and if you left swipe uh, you have the option to go to full screen again which takes it back to that map mode um, if you want to see that on your watch it does take quite a bit of battery though other options uh, again you can exit the navigation and uh, you have the option to block notifications from any, any of your apps um, so that's the update on the on the Maps app, mostly it's just the fact that you can see full screen um, map view on it, which is really cool. Um, I'm going to exit notification now. There we go. Back we are. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, it, it interacts uh, fairly quickly uh, with the phone and update so just gives you another level of uh, information right there on your watch when you're driving or using directions or maps in uh, some other traveling capacity. Alright, there you go. Thanks for watching.